In this video, I'm going to document how I stream live to three platforms using YOLO Box. Today, I just went live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I don't have much audience on Twitch, maybe less than 10. Okay, so now, let me show you how I do it. Okay, first of all, inputs. I have camera one right now. This is camera one. That's camera two now. And then there's a third input. Let me switch over there. That's the computer display input. Let me show you the equipment itself. This is the yellow box on my table. There, this, this little box here is so small. As I mentioned earlier, I have three inputs. Where are they? Okay, you can see at the back, HDMI 1, the main camera I'm using now. Then the next one is the HDMI 2, second uh, video input. And this one right now is actually connected to the computer display output. Where is camera 2? The third one. Okay, the third one is not HDMI. It's a USB input. There's a video capture card which converts the HDMI output from camera 2 into USB. The YOLO box has three physical video inputs. Very soon I'll be getting a webcam, maybe the Logitech 920, because webcam output are direct USB. Now, what is this? This is an output to an external monitor. So the HDMI output goes to an external monitor. Whatever I switch on the YOLO box, I can see it happening on the external monitor, okay, which I don't need actually because the YOLO box already has a display. I can see the monitor here on the YOLO box. Okay, next to the HDMI output port is an Ethernet cable going into an Ethernet port. And this is the direct internet connection to the wall socket. Yellow box itself have three ways to access the internet. The best is of course direct access using the ethernet port. Okay, the second way is to use Wi-Fi, which is okay if the Wi-Fi is stable. And the third way is using 4G data. That means a SIM card, the one that we use in our phones and tablets, right? You can plug in the SIM card into the yellow box and go stream mobile on the go. Yes, YOLO box is battery operated. Next to the ethernet cable connection is... It's a bit small here. That's the audio input. What is it connected to right now? It's connected to my Sennheiser G3 wireless microphone receiver. The microphone that I'm wearing right now. Okay, the other end is is over here. Okay, the transmitter side. So next to the audio input is a USB power input. Okay, this USB input is for power only. As I said, the yellow box is either battery operated or powered by USB, which is a wonderful thing. You can plug to a USB AC power supply wall socket or you can plug into a portable phone power bank like this. This camera is actually powered by a power bank because the battery provided can last only 45 minutes and I want it to last one to two hours so I need a strong power bank to make it last through my stream. So same goes for the YOLO box. Okay, then what about the internal battery specs? According to the specs, it can last three hours, but I won't depend on it. Let's go behind the, on the other side of the YOLO box. Okay, the first thing you see here is an audio output port, and that's my headset I'm wearing right now. Okay, this headset that I'm wearing. 
I'm monitoring the audio as I speak. So as to ensure that the audio is going through. And if you can see here, so now over here is where we insert the SIM card for 4G data internet connection. Then next to it is a it's a tripod hole. So you can mount this on a tripod or directly on top of a camera. This is a tripod mount to a cold shoe adapter. So you can screw this in and on the other end put on top of a camera. All right, how cool is that? Mobile live streaming next to that tripod mount hole. Coming out a blue thing here. That's an SD card. Okay, what's the SD card for? I am recording this session right now. Whatever I switch, whatever I save, whatever you see is recorded into the SD card. I can also play video from inside so I can display video or graphics. In another video, I'll go through the detailed operation of this YOLO box. Do you want to see the other video? Okay, a detailed operation of the YOLO box. Just say so in the comments section. Okay, I have the stats above. Okay, the bit rate, the frames per second that is transmitting right now. This is all automatically calculated. The bit rate can actually go up to above 8,000 kbps depending on the complexity of the video. So it, it adjusts itself, including the frame rate. Then there's drop frame, very good. Until now, it's still 0% drop frame. And I can see the time here. I've been live for 31 minutes plus. Okay, recording as well. I started recording earlier, so you can see it's like a hit by a few seconds, by two seconds, I guess. All right, you can see I'm live now. It's supposed to be live, live, not living. Okay, I'm live on YouTube, I'm live on Facebook, and I'm live on Twitch. I can be live on one more channel here, which I didn't use. There could be more. It's coming soon. If you like the information so far, click the thumbs up, leave a comment, share this video. In the next live stream, I'm going to show you a new discovery. An iPhone webcam for Final Cut Pro. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.